welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs, hauls, and other fun things. If you're not new, hey doll, hey! In today's video, I am sharing with you some really pretty spring decor. Really hope you all enjoy it. They are so easy. <laughs> So if you do enjoy what you see, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new, I'd love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. All right, dolls, let's jump right in. So for this really pretty mason jar sign, I'm going to paint this Dollar Tree sign using my Waverly chalk paint in white. I did about two coats. I painted the back side and covered the front with some brown craft paper. Then once that is complete, I'm taking this uh, caramel uh, colored uh, acrylic paint and a like a fine tip uh, paintbrush and just doing some detailed lines on the edges of my mason jar uh, just to give it a little bit more depth. Now I'm not very good at doing this kind of stuff but I am trying to expand my uh, painting abilities and everything so I thought I'd try it on this one and I actually really like how it turned out. The next thing I did is took these white florals that I already had on hand so I do not know the name of them. I do apologize but I, I think I got them from Dollar Tree like two years ago. Um, I cut down the uh, white flowers and then I'm just going to hot glue them along the rim top of this mason jar sign. I had two of these floral stems but I believe I just used one of them um, and yeah just went all the way across with those white florals. Then I took some boxwood picks and started to hot glue them on the back side of my sign. So I actually attempted to hot glue them like in between the white flowers but it didn't work so I just did it behind the um, on the back of the sign and then I just hot glued a piece of burlap on the back of the greenery so that way it stays in place. I've done this before on a sign um, for Christmas where I hot glued the florals to the back but I didn't have that extra support and it definitely helps to have that little extra pocket for the greenery um, to go in and I just used hot glue all the way around and um, patted that down. And the next thing I did is turned it over to the front and did the same thing with uh, the white flowers. But this time I'm going to kind of make it look like the burlap is supposed to be there. So I hot glued it um, underneath the florals and then I folded it um, upward so that way I can get a nice cute little like burlap flap like you would on like an actual mason jar sometimes like a sign right yeah so that's pretty much basically all I did and just tack that down um, and cut off the pieces that were kind of hanging on the side of the sign the next thing I did after that is took some jute I hot glued it on the back um, and then just wrapped it around um, on the back it kind of looks a little funky but on the front I wanted it to look uniform and clean and straight and I think I wrapped it around I think it was about six or seven times and then I just cut that off and then hot glued it onto the back I don't think I have the footage on there I think my like camera like my battery died so it just stopped <laughs> Next, I actually used my Cricut to uh, cut out um, the phrase Hello Spring. You can barely see it on camera, but this vinyl is actually like a cranberry color. It's like a cranberry metallic color. And I actually got it from Target Dollar Spot last year. And I saw um, Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs paint her vinyl. So I wanted it black because I don't have any more black vinyl. Uh, new Cricut user and I need to remember that I need to like buy more vinyl anyways so I painted it but then when I put it down on my sign and took off my transfer tape the paint came up and you could barely see it on here but boy it looks terrible <laughs> so I had to go back over and paint it more and then for the spring word I didn't even try to like put transfer tape on it I just kind of took it off and just fiddled around with it until I got it to the position that I needed it in but I mean I when Sammy from Unicorn Dust Design did it I mean her paint doesn't come up so I don't know what I did I used acrylic paint and the reason I use acrylic paint is because I read online you know me I do research that you use you should use acrylic paint on vinyl 
but I don't know if it was because it was metallic, because it was Target's vinyl. I don't know. Leave me a comment below letting me know, you know, I'm still trying to figure this out and learning. So let me know painting vinyl. Thoughts? Should I? Should I? What should I do? Anyways, once it was all fixed, this is how it turned out. I still love it. The hello word looks a little funky because it's painted, but it's still very, very pretty. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we So today's video is super exciting I am participating <laughs> Okay, one second I'm participating in a collaboration Okay, so I am participating in a DIY scavenger hunt collaboration with seven other amazing crafters. So this is also a giveaway collaboration and you have a chance to win a Cricut Joy along with some tools. Now, here are the rules. You must watch all eight videos in the hunt and comment. And then you are to collect the secret word from each one of our channels that will be in each of our videos. Remember, my word is calm. Once you have all the eight secret words, then you're going to go ahead and send the email to DIY scavenger hunt at gmail.com. We will draw a winner um, from all the emails that have the correct answer two weeks from today. And we will announce the winner on our community tabs here on YouTube and Instagram in two weeks. Good luck. All right, so I hope you got all that down. If you didn't, I will post the rules again at the end of my video for you, but this is gonna be so much fun. And I'm super excited to see what everybody else came up with and see who our winner is. All right, now let's jump right back in the video. Next up, we have this really pretty spring wreath. You guys know I love making wreaths. So I took this um, wicker wreath I've had for a couple years. I've used it multiple times. And an assortment of florals from Dollar Tree. Now, I kind of have a lot of florals out here. I'm trying to figure out what I want to use. In the end, I just end up using the white um, florals that are here along with these pink roses and my lame's ear. So the first thing I did is took these white florals. I'm sorry, I can't remember what they're called. They're dripping something, but I can't remember the second word. And I just kind of tuck those inside of the wreath all the way around. And I used two bunches of these um, white dripping flowers. I think they're really, really, really pretty. And then after that, I began to um, cut down my roses off of the stems. And then I'm just sticking the those inside of the wreath as well. The only things that I actually glue, the only florals that I glue on the wreath are going to be my lamb's ear. So everything else I'm just kind of sticking in there and then bending the um, wire that's in the floral underneath. Now at first I put my florals close together but I needed to make sure that I had enough <laughs> so I spread them out a little bit more and went all the way around the wreath and I actually did have plenty I used three bouquets of these roses now I'm taking my lamb's ears taking those off of the stems and then just hot gluing them in between um, all of my roses I love this I think it's so pretty. It's coming together so nicely. Now, when I do my florals, most of the time, I kind of layer them with my greenery and then build up. But this one, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I think I've tried something like this before, um, but it, it just, it gave me a lot of headache. But this actually, I did this really, really fast. It probably took me about 10 minutes to do. Um, and so basically, um, I just stick the greenery in between the flowers the like the standout flowers like the showcase flowers right I just really really like this this is so pretty so soft it's just so pretty it gives me everything that I need for spring <laughs> Up without you by my side, I still see your silhouette. 
For my next DIY, this is super, super easy. We're just gonna take this flowers and garden tin um, bucket from Dollar Tree and give that two paint coats of white chalk paint. And then all I'm gonna do is just sand down the flowers and garden word on both sides. I love when you can have a 360 like planter or whatever because it's just fun to make sure that all sides are complete and you don't have to like hide it up against a wall or something or like in like a case or something anyways this is what it looks like after i sand it down just the words on both sides then i'm going to take some black acrylic paint and a paintbrush uh, obviously a paintbrush <laughs> and just do some little lines so I'm kind of going for an enameled look now I didn't do any on like the face of the planter I thought about it but I just kind of like the look of just the um, rims being uh, enameled so that's all I did for that then I put some foam cores inside of the bucket along with some reindeer moss I think that Spanish moss will actually look a little bit better but I didn't have any on hand and I'm really trying to use the stuff that I do have and not go out and have to buy a bunch of stuff because I waste a lot of money at Dollar Tree don't we all but um, I use the reindeer moss and it looks great then I have this lavender this beautiful purple lavender I got from um, Walmart it was 98 cents um, a bouquet and I used uh, four five bouquets uh, to get the nice full look that I was going for and I think this is just so pretty purple is my favorite color and I just love how it just stands out against the white planter so pretty why don't we go back to why don't we go back to your bedroom All right, dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new, I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Don't forget to head to all the other channels for your chance to win a Cricut Joy and some tools. Remember, my word is calm. But yeah, that's all I have, dolls. Stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!